This is Barbara Iris Alsu of Parental World Knowledge. And this is Platinos, my puppy. It's hard to see. It's a little dark because it's a storm here. But there he is. And uh, he's kissing me right now. Um, but I just wanted to welcome you. Knowledge that everyone has their canvas, and that's um, a canvas paper. It's much like the watercolor paper on a pad, but it's uh, canvas material, just like on that painting on the wall, that oil painting in the background. And uh, <clears throat> it uh, absorbs the paint better. In addition, um, the paper you won't have to paint and whitewash. This is a huge canvas, and I really don't have the time or the money. It would cost so much to get a liquid white. Most palettes do not have white in it, so you have to buy a separate liquid white. And it costs for this tube uh, almost as much as what's in that palette. And sometimes you can even get that palette on sale, so it's going to be even less. That's crazy. So, canvas, or if the paper is pre. But um, even so, the paper, you put too much water. If you're just starting, you could put too much water and um, it will start buckling. So I just, you know, really like this. And plus you can frame this. This is great. You know, you don't have to necessarily put the glass. You could just frame this. Because, um, you know, it's watercolor. and dusted paper, you would have to put the glass um, over it. So it's for many reasons. And then the brushes, I get as opposed to just a dollar store. So and get several you know, brushes. I'm just showing a few right now, but get several. And uh, you'll need an artist sponge in case you do put too much water. I mean, you still don't want to have to layer too much, even on the great canvas paper, you know, paper that you're using. You still can just put this down and bring it up. It's an artist sponge. And it takes the paint off, and uh, you avoid having to layer as much. And then the only other thing would be the colored pencils. To dry. You can take color pencils that match as close as you can. So you know, it doesn't have to be identical, but it does have to match. All right, so um, we are all done with supplies. The only thing is, if you don't have a line drawing, you're going to need to make a line drawing. And a line drawing is just the outline. And in the background, I have fruit. So like the peach there, you just do the outline of the peach you know, and the leaves. You don't have to do the entire um, peach and fill it in. You fill it in with the paint. And do what you like. I mean, I'm doing my pet because I love him so much. But, you know, do something that you really want to paint. Um, you know, choose whether it be outside, that you know, a seascape or... Um, whether you want to do flowers and you can use props. Um, I would suggest to use silk flowers because real flowers can tie on you and then you're painting it and then the next day you'll have dead flowers and you're trying to you know capture what you had the day before and you can't. It's a little silly. Um, my, my sister-in-law lives far from me and she went for some painting lessons in her area and that's what happened. The teacher gives her 
real flowers and she was so frustrated. She says she comes back the next day and she couldn't get capture what she was doing the day before. So I have props. I mean, that that's just common sense. You, you have props. You don't give fresh flowers, especially if someone is just learning how in the world could you do it that fast and you, you come back the next day. That's ridiculous. I, I don't know. Some of these teachers, but um, look, I, I give credit for anyone uh, who's taking art lessons and you know, you're trying to learn and uh, you know, don't be discouraged if you have some bad teachers along the way. Never let that stop you and enjoy. So, uh, and if you are using props, please don't copy exactly because someone created that fruit basket and, you know, somebody created the silk flowers and you, you don't want to capture exactly. Um, it has to be original. copy exactly uh, doing the person of course exactly um, and if you're you know out in nature and you, you're doing something yes you you can you know do exactly as you see but um, I definitely would change and alter it's like somebody built a building I mean I'm not going to do exactly as that building looks because the simple reason you want to be original you don't want to take someone else's design and that's it so uh, and the only other thing you can from the computer you can do a printout and then paint it i don't know why that's acceptable but it is i checked with the jury art and they definitely said and stated that it's acceptable so you can get a printout from the computer and paint over that that's perfectly fine that's acceptable all right, so now uh, we'll begin, and my little puppy's in my arms, so I hope I'm able to paint with them in my arms. And I've layered already um, uh, twice for the grass, and I want to do like a third layer now. And uh, I was using a big brush, and then I was using a small brush after my grass to make the blades of it. I do gentle little brush strokes. And I'm sorry for not being able to come on sooner, but I could not get on the computer. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was um, no... Uh, It was coming down pretty hard before in West Orange, New Jersey. For a walk, and uh, it's just no, it was no connection whatsoever, and, and security didn't go on, so I just couldn't get on the computer. I always wait. I have to have... Um, no, online, I mean, obviously, I couldn't get online. And then there was no security, so without security, I wouldn't start. I don't want to give anyone a virus, you know, so I mean, I'm, I'm very cautious what I do and cautious for everybody else, too. Well, I got it on. I'm just sorry it just took so long. Sorry for your inconvenience if you kept trying to tune in to us. There was nothing I could do with the weather. It definitely was affecting the reception. And I'll tell you, I'm lucky, you know, that we have Wi-Fi because um, Wi-Fi always stays connected. If I didn't have that, I wouldn't even be able to get on. Uh, so 
I'm pretty lucky that I do have that. But even with the Wi-Fi, something was wrong with the tower in our area. You know, Platinos has gotten so big. You know, he is now just sitting on my lap. And look how, how tall. He never was this. And it, it's interesting. I mean, um, everybody is noticing how you know big he is. And, and he's so long. So I mean, he's gotten taller and he's gotten long, really long. So, um, but outside just now, it was so dark. This neighbor came. She hadn't seen him in a while. She says, well, he hasn't gotten any bigger. I said, oh, no, he's gotten bigger because, look, he's sitting here. He used to see me painting with him when he's sitting on my lap, and he wasn't reaching my face. He's almost reaching my face now. So believe me, he's getting big. Oh, yeesh. I want a big doggy. I like a midsize or big dog better than a little dog. I've always had midsize or big dog, and he's getting there. But it used to be I had to hold him up for you to see him. Now I don't have to hold him up. He's my little pal, my buddy. And he follows me everywhere. And I want to take him everywhere. If I go anywhere, I like to take him along. He's my buddy. Hey, Platinos? He's following me everywhere. Hmm. Well, I made um turkey meatballs and it definitely straightened him out. He was eating. Very healthy for him with ease. He went out there and made right away. But we had no reception, so I was on time. And uh, I just couldn't get on the air. And I do have the recipe for the turkey meatballs. I had it on... Um, LinkedIn, and uh, I had meatballs also on my site, but I don't think I had turkey meatballs on parental well knowledge. I had uh, meatballs recipe, and I used uh, organic uh, turkey meat, and I made sure that uh, this is you know lean organic you know turkey meat and i make my own sauce i put it in the blender little cherry tomatoes and i put a little garlic just a clove and uh, i also put in some red pepper And I then chop it up completely. And it is just, you know, delicious with you put all kinds of spice in. You know, I have um, everything under sun, oregano, basil. Oh, and I love that basil. It's so sweet. I put a lot of basil. And see, I use a lemon pepper and sea salt, and I add some more black pepper. And uh, I even put a little more garlic seasoning and onion. And then I do put uh, fresh 
whole Spanish onion in the pot. And I make sure that I have the sauce, you know, that I made, I heat it up and then I, you know, put it into the meat. The whole grain bread. Um, and I put a few for, you know, I have like three pounds of meat and I put a, a few you know, pieces of bread. So, and three eggs. And that is just, it is just so delicious. Um, you know, you put that in, in balls and you put it in the pot. You can also put enough peppers, you could, you know, do the same thing, but I would just you know, make sure that you have a ready cooked rice, that it's soft and add it to the meat. You know, you don't have to do that for the meatballs <clears throat> unless you want to make pork pie meatballs. But, um, and if you ever are little strokes but you can just tap on the paint right now I'm doing the grass and I cook that for an hour and a half it's just delicious excuse me Bar speaking no he's not who's calling please all right thank you so much buddy so, okay, anyway, I hope that you try to make that and set the timer, and it's delicious, it's just so delicious to have um, the turkey meatballs, it's very healthy, and he just loves it, oh my gosh, my, my puppy, and he's a connoisseur on what he likes, oh my gosh, he he is fussy. He likes turkey and he likes chicken. I, I do think <clears throat> with your blood type, you know, you like certain foods. So I think he's, for some reason, he must be, he must have blood, which is um, related to mine because I, 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 you know, seem that, you know, he likes turkey a lot. And um, I'm B positive and, and People that are be positive, they like turkey. And uh, so I don't know. <clears throat> I really don't know. I don't didn't ask the doctor his blood type, but um, you can check on my site. Like if you're not sure of your blood type, um, foods, you can go, if you know your blood type, go on my site, parentalwellknowledge.com. You can look up your proper food you should be eating with your blood type. That's very helpful because, you know, you don't want to be eating the wrong foods, obviously. Usually you have a craving for those foods, but, you know, sometimes you might not. Like I used to, you know, I have, you know, cravings for like turkey. I knew that, but I was getting a lot of chicken from my mom, and I didn't know that that wasn't my um, food I'm supposed to be eating a lot of. And I really like chicken, so there are times that you know you won't get the signaling. I mean, if you're brought up on something, you're going to want, you're going to crave that. So it it you know changes. If you're brought up originally as a baby on that, you know, you might still have a craving for it's helpful for your health. Now, I think he likes chicken because he was um, 
brought up on it at the hotels that were giving them a lot of chicken. The patrons that were buying it. But I, I see he really likes turkey the best. And it straightened out his constipation from eating uh, this other dog food. It just did not work well. Awful, awful dog food. I won't mention the name, but for him, that is. It might not be awful for someone else, but. But Purina is the best. He just loves it. And that helped too. That straightened him out, and uh, my my food straightened him out. I'm so happy that he's okay now. It's just a fire engine, honey. No, he hears everything. Which is good. I mean, I'm glad he... <laughs> but the slightest sound, he will be barking. <laughs> he hears anything at night. And I feel sorry for that person if they ever intrude into our house. <laughs> the Platinos would tear that person apart. And he's got. And he wouldn't bite anybody unless, you know, they did something to us. He's great with kids. He's docile. He's wonderful. And I hope people, if you have it in your heart to love a pet and take care of a pet, please. Adopt at your local shelter. There are so many wonderful pets. And you don't have to go spend a lot of money at uh, a store because these these pets are overcrowded and, and they're not always healthy. But the pets in the shelters are, are. I haven't had one unhealthy pet. And uh, I got lucky with this island puppy too, Platinos. And he was... Uh, born in Dominican Republic, if you haven't heard my story before. And uh, just a street dog, so we lucky we having to defend himself. Could have starved to death. He's a courageous puppy. Gotta take care of himself. No mommy around. I don't know what happened. But I don't think the mommy lived because if he is this lovable, I think that something happened to his mommy. There is no way this mommy would have left this doggy. She wouldn't leave this doggy behind. He's a very special little boy.
always wants to give you attention, always wants to give you love. He is so forgiving. And I love him with all my heart. And he just has changed my life for so much better. He makes me so happy. Honey, I just want to show everybody the picture. <laughs> he was resting on it. Sorry, honey. So I'm doing the grass, a third layer of the grass. And he loves laying on the grass. We have... Um, Hybrid grass is just wonderful. My next door neighbor planted it before he passed on. And he was, God bless him, in, in his um, 80s when he plant, planted this grass. And uh, it just transferred right to our yard. So it is so wonderful. Uh, we don't even water our grass, and it is this green. So it is just amazing. We're very, very fortunate. Such a wonderful, my late neighbor. He was just an excellent person. <clears throat> and that he made sure... And my puppy just loves it. It's so soft when you step on this grass. And it feels like you're just floating on a cloud. <laughs> it's so rich. <coughs> and the grass, um, it, it just grows. Uh, like it, like you had an Easter basket. You see the grass in the basket, how green it is. It's just sprouting up. It's just sprouting up. <coughs> like it's, uh, looks like an Easter basket, all the grass inside. <coughs> and I never saw grass like this. <coughs> I used to think Kentucky grass was wonderful, the bluegrass. But this is um this is even more beautiful. And, and it, it just grows and grows and grows and grows. Um it's spreading throughout the whole lawn now from my neighbor's yard to ours. <coughs> so we have perfection. <coughs> Excuse me. With my allergies. And uh, we're fortunate that it's spreading through a whole yard. <coughs> and I never saw anything like this with this grass. It looks like it's a turf instead of a real, you know, grass. And I know my feet 
they hurt standing a long time with my puppy so it's like helping i i wouldn't be able to stand on my other grass there's no way there's no way it's a miracle that my neighbor planted it at that age and i'm so lucky to have it sorry be careful you trying to paint with me? <laughs> I think he's trying to paint with me. I hope you could see green that grass is because that's how green it looks on our lawn and I can't I can't believe that we don't even water the lawn um, you know in our town it says not to use water because there's there's been a water shortage so we're just you know not doing it and yet the lawn is that green and just lovely. And my irises, he loves, are coming up. And you know, he's loves to go into the irises and and uh, get the nice scent. That's why, you know, that plant is right there because that's what he always does. And he just loves that. He loves those plants. And I don't mind him rolling in it because I like him to smell nice, right? We like just to, to go into the iris plants. And my middle name is Iris. <laughs> uh, I planted them. And mom named me after those beautiful flowers. That's why I planted them. Like platypus. I love those irises. He also likes the roses, the way it smells, but I tell him not to go in that because of the thorns. And he listens, he doesn't go in there. And he really likes the smell too, but. I planted that also. Now my roses, I mean, they've been growing for years. They're quite a bush. A little more green. Just trying to get those irises. At first, I put white down, and now I'm putting a little more green. Yeah, that's a color. Oh, right, baby. <clears throat> What we're going to show you in a minute. He's tired. You're up early. You're up at six o'clock. Big day. I 
I would never get up this early in the longest time. But for him, I would. Now I don't mind. I just adore my baby. We have fun. We have fun, don't we, baby? Go out and play. In the yard. Got your flowers. You got the ball. You're tired. I know. You've been running around all day. He wants to pull the leaves off the trees, too. <laughs> Boy, that, that's been fun lately. The leaves are coming off very easily. He's having a ball. Oh, it's so cute. You want to get down? You want to go in the kitchen and eat your food? You can get down if you want. It's up to you. I'm almost done. Got five more minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby, we're almost done. Well, I pray a miraculous healing prayer for everyone in the world. Peace, good spirit, health, good strength. Easy, baby. Don't jump. You want to hurt yourself. You want to get down? I'll take you down. We got five more minutes. You want to get down now, though? You want to wait or you want to get down? It's up to you, baby. Amen. God heals 100%. I just say the prayer. And uh, I hope that everybody has a wonderful day or night, depending on where you are. It's nighttime here in West Orange, New Jersey, USA. <coughs> in addition, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I thank everybody for tuning in. And if you um, refer people, we greatly appreciate that. And I thank uh, Karim, who always is watching us. Um, and I know she was trying to even do something about pets. It was like two pets that needed a home. The owner passed away. and It's nice that she was trying to help them. Well, I'll get to you in a minute. Might be missed when I pick this up. Oops. 
So it's nice that, you know, people try to help save pets. Um, it's a wonderful thing. And, and like I said, go to your local shelter as opposed to spending a lot of money on pets that aren't even healthy. And uh, why waste the money? And, and bring your kids with you, your whole family to see the pet because be sure that everyone gets along with the pet you know it, it could be personality maybe the maybe the pet doesn't like children you know you never know I and mean, you don't always know the history for a pet so i would suggest to do that to be certain and uh i was lucky my my son just brought the pet home and i just got so lucky that i have a loving pet i just hope that i can keep up with him because he's part black lab and he is so active he's not going to calm down until at least a year so i've got six more months and uh i had an injury at work so i don't really know if i can do this uh, say a prayer for me um i told my son i wanted to get a pet but i wanted a trained pet and not such an active pet i wanted you know a, a, a pet or uh, that's a puppy or a young dog, but when it's trained and not so active, I was trying to get a German Shepherd. That would have been a lot more docile. You know, German Shepherds are seeing eye dogs and they're health dogs, and that would have been more for me, but I couldn't get one that was good with children, and I do teach children primarily from Artist Barbara Sue Fine Art Studio. So my thought is, you know, try to go and see with your whole family to be sure you get the right pet i mean he's the right pet as far as his personality but i just hope and pray that i'm able my health to take care of such an active pet um he's extremely active and that's a little difficult and he's pulling me and i just pray that he's the bravest little boy what he went through, not having anyone caring for him on that island or by himself with his sister. So, um, you know, I, I thank everybody and uh, you have a wonderful day or night again and a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Platinum, say bye. Bye. Want to give high five? Give me a high five. High five, high five, yay! Can you see his ball there? <laughs> yeah, high five to everyone. Bye.